What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today, or tonight I should say, I have a quick unboxing to do from this fellow right here, Mr. Kevin over at Left EDC. You guys, you know, there's no introduction needed for Kevin. He's a, he's a great guy. Um, he's a fantastic human being and he's a really good friend of mine, um, great friend of the channel. And he sent in a package of, I believe, six knives. Um, three of them are his personal ones and then three of them are Axial Gear knives that he got in from Axial Gear. Um, to check out and then he made a little group and, and like a pass around group and I think I'm I think I'm the first one because they're coming directly from Kev um, but yeah I I apologize guys I had this plan going into the week uh, this is now Thursday of having a full week of reviews and unboxings and stuff for you guys but I've been you know kind of dealing with like a really you know uh, stingy and uh, annoying sinus infection since like last Sunday um, so I just really you know I've been going to work and kind of just coming home and being being lazy. Uh, I haven't really felt like turning on the camera until now. You guys can still, you know, kind of hear it in me. Um, and I apologize if uh, I do a little sniffling once in a while because I am still, you know, getting over it, but I'm feeling better. Um, so I'm going to be able to bust this out for you guys. And hopefully tomorrow after work, um, I have a couple videos I need to film for. Um, oh, I have, a, I have a lot of videos to film for you guys, um, but I'm going to try to bust out two more for the weekend. No promises, but that's my idea and that's my goal. Um, but tonight we're going to do a quick unboxing and I'm really excited for all these. Um, the unboxing knife is the Civivi uh, Baby Banner. Now I got to figure out where to cut into these so I don't cut Kevin's packages because I've done that before. This thing is absolutely jam-packed full. Alrighty, so we got, oh, okay, so this is like his, yep, his Orion Knives, um, like, travel pouch, and I think there's going to be a second travel pouch in here. Yes, indeedy. Right. Nothing else in there. Oh, it's been a busy week, guys. Like I said, I've basically been, um going back and forth, <coughs> excuse me, um, going to work every day and then basically just coming home and chilling out, um, which kind of sucked because like I said, I did have a full uh, full week of reviews and stuff uh, planned to do, but you know, stuff happens. So you guys know me, that's just how it goes with this channel. And as you guys can tell, I am hot because my room gets really, really hot for some reason. Um, so I apologize about that. I just get really overheated easily. But two Orion Knives um, packages. We're going to do the lighter one first, because I'm going to guess that these are Kevin's knives. Make sure I'm still filming. Uh, I am. And I am right. These are Kev's knives. All right. And we got a whole big old goodie pack. Oh, nice. I finally got the dead nut sticker. But I have um, a couple left EDC stickers, which is awesome. Love having these. Um, I have a couple giveaways planned coming up on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'll use these in there. I got a Devo Knives um, little coaster, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday. You guys are going to see this on Friday, April 8th. Um, the Devo Knives Stout pre-order goes live on Saturday, April 9th at 1 p.m. Please um, go check the website out. It's uh, The Stout is on the website. You guys can go see it, but it goes live on, one, uh, on Saturday at 1 p.m. Um, I'm going to try to snag a... Um, black wash in a black micarta one i think that looks really good but i'm super excited for kev uh, i'm supposed to get in a stout prototype i'm somewhere on the list so be on the lookout for that in the future and then i got these two different types of stickers yeah okay so this one so this one i'm guessing is from uh, tri-state river valley creations i think um cole over at tri-state edc and his wife started doing stickers which i think i'm going to get some ordered here sometime soon um for really good prices and then i think this one is for uh from sticker mule but i got two i just dropped one of them but I got two dead nut stickers um kevin has this as like a logo if you're a channel member um on his live streams and stuff like that and i just think it's an absolute you know hilarious uh sticker i think uh brent over at uh backpack b excuse me um made the designs so those are the swag all right so which one do i look at first all right, so I'm going to go with the two that I requested. So these are two quiet carry knives. And these are, oh, Kevin even flipped them over for me. Thank you, buddy. Um, I'll make sure to flip them back to lefty when I send them back to you. But I um, hit him up on Instagram, and I asked him if I could check out his Waypoint 
and his quiet carry drifts because I am planning on getting one of these for the summer. Um, just because I've, I've wanted a quiet carry for so long. And as you guys can tell, um, I'm very sweaty. I'm a hot person. Um, I get uh, overheated very, very easily um, as I'm trying to wipe sweat off my face nonchalantly. Um, but I just want to get one of these in because I'm going to be going to the beach this summer. Uh, I'm going on a, a vacation with my family to... So I'm going to the beach with my girlfriend's family. I'm going on like a lake vacation uh, with my family. And then... I think I have something else planned, but I can't remember. I don't know, just just in general. Summer uh, weather here in PA gets really hot, really humid. Um, I get really sticky, and I just want something that is rust-proof that I don't have to worry about. Um, and like I said, I've been wanting these, wanting one of these for quite a while. Um, and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to buy because I liked both of them uh, aesthetically, and I've heard good things about both of them. So Kevin uh, sent his over. So we're gonna check out the Drift first. Uh, this is Black G10. I think if I try to snag one of the drifts, um, I would try to get the black knurled titanium. I think that looks phenomenal. Uh, but the G10 feels really good on this. It's nice and grippy. Uh, I love their, you know, just plain wire clips that go to the butt end of the knife. Reversible. Um, and we're going to try the thumb flick. Very snappy. Um, this thing is nice and thin. Look at that blade stock. This thing comes down almost a full flat grind. There's a little bit of a you know swedge building up top, but comes down to a very thin edge. Um, this has Vanex, both of these do, which is my first experience with Vanex. Uh, Vanex Super Clean, I believe. But stupid ergonomically, this thing just fits in my hand so well. <clears throat> Liner lock, ooh, drops to your nail, wow. These are on uh, phosphor bronze washers, but oh my gosh. This is like glassy smooth. This feels really, really good. Um, very ergonomic. This thing is awesome. Sorry about that, guys. I got a phone call. Had to quit uh, filming there real quick. But um, I was talking about the drift and how it's just a very ergonomic knife. This thing is, like I said, super thin. Um, you know, it looks like it's a really good slicer. Uh, it's I think it's like right around three inch. Uh, three inches on the blade. This choil just feels really, really good. Um, and I just, I'm, I mean, I, obviously it's Kevin's knife, so he's going to have a great action on it. But for phosphor bronze washers, that thing is just ridiculously smooth. This thing's really cool. All right. Now we're going to check out the waypoint. Now this one is in the, uh, looks to be stone wash tie. And this one's a little bit longer, a little bit, you know, thinner, um, dual thumb studs. Now see, this one feels really good too. Uh, this has a hollow grind, I believe. Yeah, it feels great. Um, I think this is like a three, uh, what, what did I read this as? I think this is like a three inch blade. Um, I could be wrong, but um, I want to say it's like 3.1. Obviously in Vanex. It has a really, really good edge on it from probably Joe, uh, Kevin's friend that puts edges on it for him. This is a liner lock, so it's like an inset liner lock, which is cool. Okay, so not as drop shutty as the other one. It's still very, very smooth, though, um, but definitely requires a little bit at the beginning to kind of break out of that uh, stuck open position. But this feels, the titanium feels really good on this. Um, they're both just thin and ergonomic. Can you middle finger flick this? Yes, you can. Um, I don't know. I, I like I like the blade shapes on both of them. Um, like I said, I, I like how they both look. Um, so this is going to be hard for me. But this thing feels great too. I, like, I love how thin it is. You guys know me. I love longer, thinner, narrow knives. Um, this is going to remind me a little bit of the uh, Real Steel um, G-Frame. Just very, very similar in my opinion to um, overall build quality and, uh, or not build quality, but aesthetically. Um, yeah, this thing is great in the hand. And it's, once you get, you know, down a little bit, it, it's nice and smooth. Again, on phosphor bronze washers, but yeah, this thing is just, I'm really impressed with both of these, and I am can tell you already that these are going to take up a lot of pocket time, um, just due to me trying to figure out, you know, um, which one I want to buy. 
I don't think as of right now that they have a waypoint in the textured um, black tie or whatever. Um, but this feels really good. The titanium is just really smooth feeling. Um, these are really cool knives, and I'm, I'm super glad that Kevin, you know, sent these over to me just to check out. And, yeah, these things are really, really cool. I think I said that like three times already, but definitely going to be hogging my pockets a lot. I'm just going to be flicking these, using them a little bit. Um, it's going to be a really tough decision, but obviously I'm going to do full reviews on both of these. Um, and I think whenever I decide which one I'm going to get, I'll do like a long-term review on that one. Um, but that, yeah, Quiet Carry just makes some awesome products, and I've literally held these knives for five minutes, and I can already attest to that. So nothing in there, nothing in there. So this one is one that I'm also super stoked about because this is a Luft Concepts Avant, which is a design, there goes Siri, which is a design um, between Jake over at Bearded Gear and Ryan over at Rimmer Designs. Um, and this is a pre-order that uh, I think it was back in, it was a summer sometime, I think. And they just, late, late summer, early fall, somewhere in there. Um, and they just, had them, you know, got them in from Riot. This is a Riot made knife, and they had them shipped out to um, all the pre order people within the last couple weeks. Um, I unfortunately did not get on the pre order. Uh, just, you know, I didn't have $300 a drop at the time. Um, you know, Kevin's pre order is coming on Saturday, like I said, and I think the one I want is $269. Um, so $270, $270 is still going to be a lot for, to, to drop at one time. Um, although they're going to do. Uh, Sezzle, which I might do, breaks into four payments. Uh, but I just, pre-orders are hard for me some, sometimes. I keep saying that too. Um, just because it's it's hard for me to dump that much money into a knife and then have to wait, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe, you know, maybe eight months for it, um, especially with how stuff is now. Uh, but I totally get the, the process behind it. I totally get why um, someone like Ryan and Jake had, had to do it because that's how they funded it. They can't just go up and say, okay, I want to order 300 knives, um, you know, right out of pocket. That would cost them, you know, probably over $100,000 if I, you know, do the quick math in my head. Um, but I, like I said, I totally get it. And that's just, that's how it has to happen. Um, and that's why I just can't wait until, um, you know, I graduate officially from college. Uh, not that I'm looking to, you know, be a full, full fledged adult and have to handle all the, uh, adult responsibilities that comes with growing up, but I'm definitely excited to, um, get a, you know, real job and have a little bit more, uh, spending money in my knife budget to, you know, afford some of those, uh, pre-orders and, to uh, be able to buy some higher end knives and stuff like that. So, um, that's why I was super excited when Kevin offered to toss this in, um, to check out because he knew that I wanted to check one out and I hadn't, you know, able to get one in yet. So, just a really cool design. Um, it's micarta. I believe Kevin has the, this is black micarta with a uh, satin, very similar loop over style deep carry clip to quiet carry. Um, obviously a hole for deployment, a flipper tab. Um, you know, as soon as I saw this design come out, you know, back months ago, um, I've been watching Jake's channel for a while. I would consider him to be a buddy too. Um, you know, we, he's letting knives into the channel. Um, we haven't chatted as much as we used to, but uh, I'd still consider him, a, you know, a friend. Um, but as a longtime watcher of his channel, I know that the two knives that, you know, right off the bat that I can tell you that he loved or still does love are uh, the Koning Arius is like his, you know, number one Holy Grail knife. And then he loves the uh, Spyderco PM2. And right off the bat, in my opinion, this is a great mixture of both of those knives. <laughs> It just, it's, you know, very aesthetically pleasing, I think. Um, this is a liner lock. Oh, I don't think Kevin put skiffs in here. Very good action, though. Drop shot to the nail. This is great. Um, I really wish I was able to pick one of these up because I love, you know, just, it's very simple, but also very usable at the same time. Um, I love the, the blade shape here. Uh, it's called the Avant, like I said, which is a like hatchback. Um, the the only thing that the the first thing that I thought of was the um, Audi uh, like RS6 Avant, which is uh, a hatchback or a station wagon sort of, not a hatchback, a station wagon um, version of an Audi S6. 
um, and they're super cool. Uh, I really like them, uh, and I just I know that that's what a lot of their designs going forward are going to be. They're based around like German um, and you know uh, foreign sports ca sports cars. Excuse me, but I'm a mess right now, guys. I apologize. Sniffling, sweaty, gross, um, but I'm trying to get this video out for you guys. So thank you for suffering it through suffering through it with me but super comfortable with this choil um choke back it's nice yeah this thing's great uh, i'm super excited to get this into very snappy we'll see how i know i already know there's gonna be no blade play very l no not much i guess i just that was my imagination but kevin never has stuff that doesn't have a good action or that doesn't uh you know sit locked up real tight so this is the Luff Concepts Avant. Very, very cool. So now we are going to switch over to the other package, which is, I believe, the Axial Gear package. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Siri again, I don't want to talk to you. So this is a OTF, a uh, new folder, and a new fixed blade from them, which I'm really excited to check out. Take a look. Alrighty, so we're gonna check out uh, this really big microfiber. I'm not really quite sure, um, you know, what, where this is coming from, or I think it was just to protect the uh, clips and stuff in here. But this is the fixed blade. Comes in this Kydex sheath. It also has like this tech lock here that um, I heard that you can't um, fit above like an inch and a half belt on here. So I'm not sure if that is. Uh, true or if Kevin was able to get a new uh, method of he might have been able to fix it I'm not totally sure uh, I don't think so uh, but anyway it's off of here and here is the knife I think it's like a three and a half inch um, nice belt satin there this is S35VN which you can see um, you can see the uh, try to see the, the grind lines uh, if you guys are going to get it good enough kind of but this is, I believe, green micarta. Very comfortable in the hand. Um, to me, right away, it seems that there's obviously more blade than handle. Um, I think it could, could definitely use a little bit more handle sticking out there. My pinky's kind of just hanging on for dear life. Um, but it is comfortable. You do sort of have some jimping here on these three lines that are cut in, which is an axial gear, sort of their maker's mark. But yeah, nice thin behind the edge. Um, Feels really solid, feels good. I wish that they would have, you know, just given some nice, simple um, soft loops for this because I think this would be a really good uh, scout carry knife. You could carry an appendix on your back, something like that. Um, retention, good. No rattles at all. This thing is really nice and tight. Well, I mean, it's, it's tight in there, but then you can just use this ramp right here and it comes right out. It's weird. You put it in. And it locks up, and then it's it's kind of easy to come out here, but then it catches again, and it's tighter. It's a little odd, but um, seems to fit well. Yeah, this is cool. I forget what the technical name of this is. Nice, you know, thin blade stock comes down to a nice thin edge. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I will definitely uh, find the name on this before I do the full review on it. Take another sip. Yeah, it's one thing I don't like about this apartment um, is it just seems like all the heat rises and we don't even have the house. I think we have the house on like 65 degrees with the heat on. Um, and I, it just, this house gets really hot upstairs. I think I keep my window open pretty much all the time year round. Like even during the winter, I have my window open at least this much. Um, I have a fan that sits over by the window, but I close the window so I keep out traffic noise. Um, but yeah, it's just my room is not very comfortable. Um, we don't have uh, air conditioning in this house, unfortunately, so we have to use the window units, which if it gets much, ho gets much hotter out, I'm going to have to uh, put the window unit in. But Sorry for uh, giving you guys some rants on my sweating and my hotness stuff, but it is what it is. All right, so this is the new um, you know, piece of fuzz there. This is their new folder. 
I believe called the Senzi, I think is what it's called. Um, again, I will confirm before I do the full review. Uh, and this just released, I think like two weeks ago within that time. Um, you have a nice loop over style deep carry clip. The retention I heard isn't the best. You can see how easily I'm pulling that up. Uh, but it's a real nice long clip. I say long, but um, you know, it's not too bad. It is reversible. Um, it is a flipper. You can see it's 20 CV, really nice Warncliffe style blade, kind of a Warncliffe reverse tanto. Axial gear logo there. It's a frame lock. That action is awesome. I know Chris Grady's gear got one of these in, um, and he kind of ranted and raved about it because it was, for the price, he was kind of blown away. I think these go for like $180, $190, something like that. Uh, and then if you use one of their codes, you can get 10% off. But yeah, it's super snappy. It's it's definitely a smaller knife. Um, I was honestly worried that it was going to be too small for my hands, but I can definitely get four fingers on here. Um, I'm kind of squeezed on, but it's very comfortable. Uh, I really like the jimping right here. And I think this is like a 2.9 inch blade. But this is really cool. I really like this. Uh, access to the lock bar is really, really great. You have a lot of room just to stick your thumb in there and it drops right down. <laughs> Full tie. Um, I believe this, or I don't believe, I know this and the um, fixed blade are made in China where the OTF I'm going to review, or not review, I'm going to check out next is made in the USA. From what I've heard, they're trying to um, get their new shop set up so they can make all their knives in the uh, United States, which is really cool to see. You do have a, it looks to be whoops, a lock bar insert right there. Um, yeah, this is really cool. A decent blade stock, I think, for how big this knife is. But it comes down to a nice thin edge. Not the thinnest, but definitely very usable. And you could technically use this as a choil, too. Kind of a landing choil. Choke up, get real good control. That's, uh, I really like this. I might... I was definitely considering picking one of these up. Um, and I, I've been considering picking up an OTF from them for a while, too. So uh, this is definitely going to be... All these knives are going to be, you know, in my pocket a lot. So this is cool. Um, like I said, the biggest thing for me was I was just worried the handle would be a little bit too small. Just from what I could tell on uh, videos and stuff like that. But um, I can get a good grip on here. Not too, you know, not too cramped or anything like that. But for a really nice, small uh, flipper only knife with 20 CV, um, this thing is really, really cool. Uh, might have to snag one of these in the future. So. That is the Enzi. It's the Enzi, sorry, not the Senzi. Uh, so this last one is the Shift. And this is the new redesigned one. Um, before, they had, you could do a reversible clip, but you had to like uh, email them or talk to them about switching it over, which I think this one is uh, set up for lefty carry. But now, so before, I don't have one, I don't have a picture right now. Um, the knife was almost like slanted and it, uh, the new remake or remodel, they shortened it here, um, which then made the blade to handle like ratio a lot better. Um, and then they made a even more deep carry clip that is reversible um, for both sides, which is really, really cool to see. I think a lot of people were, um, you know, telling them about it and they listened to their, their customers, which is awesome. Um, this aluminum feels really really good it has kind of like a matte feel to it feels awesome uh american flag right there from made in the usa and kevin for the price said that these are the best otfs that you can buy he said he likes them better than um microtech which i've had a microtech before i really liked it um, but i ended up selling it but i've kind of had that itch to get an otf back in the collection and i've uh, had my eye on these for quite a while i just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet um, but Axial Gear logo there. So we're going to see how this fires. Fires hard. Um, definitely smooth. And I agree right away with, Kev right away with Kevin. Um, the actuator button on here does not tear up your finger or hurt your finger, you know, at all as compared to Microtech. It kind of digs in. And, uh, you know, depending on how stiff the um, deployment was, it could really hurt your finger after a while. But this is just effortless. It's really easy. Um, this is a double-edged dagger uh, styling of blade, but I believe the bottom is just sharp. Um, 
this is not sharp, but I know it seems like it has a bevel. Um, so I'm sure you could get someone to sharpen this up for you to give a true uh, double edged here. But CPM S35VN. You can also get these in 20 CV for like 15 more dollars, which is really cool. Um, and they have all sorts of colors and um, they have a new warning shape. Um, I think it's just a drop point or a clip point. Um, they're making some really cool products and this thing feels like there's blade play obviously, which you're gonna get in any uh, OTF. It's just bound to happen unless you get like a Hawk deadbolt. But then you're spending like a thousand dollars. But I mean, just shaking it, there's not much rattle. Um, the actuator or you know slide here doesn't have any. Um, you know, some Microtex can feel kind of loose. This thing feels real tight. The tolerances feel great on here. Um, this is cool. Feels really good, um, and definitely the blade to handle ratio looks a lot better. Um, yeah, overall this is a fantastic knife. So. Again, I'm gonna have to pick one of these up in the future. Just, uh, I, I'd like to have at least one OTF, um, and I would like to support, um, you know, a smaller company like Axial Gear, still trying to get, um, you know, they're definitely established now, uh, but they're still kind of a newer company. So, yeah, really, really cool. I might try to switch this clip over um, to carry it uh, righty, but yeah. That's it guys, um, I just unboxed six knives. Uh, so quick recap, I unboxed the Axial Gear Shift, the Axial Gear um, new fixed blade, and the Axial Gear Enzi, I believe. Um, these were all loaned in um, from Kevin, but he got them loaned in from Axial Gear themselves to do a little pass around group. Um, so those are all from Axial Gear. Then I have the Luff Concepts Avant, which is a personal knife from Kevin. I have the Quiet Carry Waypoint, Again, another personal knife from Kevin. And then I have the um, Quiet Carry Drift. Again, a personal knife from Kev. So really, really cool options here. Um, this has been a super, super exciting unboxing, guys. Uh, please go check Kevin's channel out if you don't already. Um, I'm sure if you follow me, you follow him. But I'll leave his channel linked down below. Um, also, please be on the lookout for Devo Knives. I will, um, if I remember to... To do so, I'll leave a link to Devo Knives' um, website down below. Please go check them out on April 9th at 1 o'clock. Or don't. It makes it easier for me to get a knife. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I apologize for uh, if I look hot and sweaty. I really do apologize. But just want to thank you guys for watching uh, and listening to me ramble and everything like that. Because this is at least a 20-minute long video. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have not yet, consider clicking subscribe. I would love it if you do so. Um, just trying to grow the family the family here um and you know that's why i love doing youtube and just making you know making new friends meeting new people uh, responding to comments and stuff like that it's a blast so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i greatly appreciate you i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace